Good evening, everybody. Aren't we all so happy that we don't have to go to work tomorrow? It's like Sunday night, and usually we're already dreading work tomorrow, but we don't have to go. Yay. Yay holiday. All right, so we have got uh, a few different things going on tonight. Uh, as soon as I get chat to load on the iPad, uh, oh, there it is. All right, it's all loaded now. Just takes a minute sometimes. So we've got a few different things uh, that we're opening tonight. We've got some football, but all of the football is uh, really quick because it's mostly memorabilia. And then the half case of 2011 Prime Signatures, which is just one pack per box, also pretty fast. And then after we roll through our football breaks, we have a full case of 2017 Tops Inception Baseball. So I do generally break in the order that things end on eBay. So that's what we're going to do tonight. We're going to uh, break through the football first. And then we will break into the case of 2017 Tops Inception Baseball. And again, none of these uh, breaks are going to take very long tonight. Um, but just kind of, kind of giving you a heads up for the order. And give me one second. We're going to get the spreadsheet up here. And then we'll switch your view over to that. And first up tonight is one 2017 Gold Rush autographed, blah, 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 autographed football jersey, break number one. Of course, there's our eBay end date. That's today. Our live stream schedule also today and, of course, right now. And you will see team names down the left-hand side, winning bidder names down the right-hand side. Anything that says no bids buyback is pretty self-explanatory. That just means that... Um, no one bid on that team, so if anything comes out for that team, it would just stay here with me. We do have a lot of unpaid teams tonight. I mean, a massive amount of unpaid teams tonight. Uh, I think it was over maybe 60 in total with the whole uh, with all of the breaks combined. I'm going to stack some of this a little bit out of the way so that I have some room to open this, and we'll bring it back around in a minute. Um, so, of course, on the unpaid teams, um, you know, the spreadsheet has to be finalized before the break can start. And I don't have access to eBay and email and all that stuff once I'm in here setting up and doing the break. So, if payment has come in in the interim, uh, that's fine. Hopefully it has. But, of course, it's still going to be reflected on the spreadsheet as unpaid because it was unpaid when the spreadsheet had to be finalized. And, uh, oh yeah, hi, good luck. Uh, good luck is right, Aaron. I, we always wish everybody good luck. Um, Michelle, we have, well, we have several football, uh, several football breaks tonight. The jersey, three helmets, uh, some prime signatures football, all fairly quick. And then after that, of course, we have the, um, we have the 2017 Tops Inception Baseball. So, um, oh, this is my, this has the potential to be quite nice. Let's see if this, who is, who I, uh, all right. So I saw, I saw the blue and white and I thought there for a minute, there for a brief second, we still have a very nice Jersey in here, but it's just not exactly who I thought it was going to be. We have a set, uh, well, I can't even get that in the whole view of the camera. We have a Sanders Jersey is what has come out tonight. I'm looking to see that as a custom jersey. It's not, uh, most of the time they are custom jerseys, but not 100% of the time. And there is our signature for the Sanders jersey. And I'm trying to look on here. Uh, I'm trying to remember if I saw him. I don't even remember seeing him on the, where is he on there? Hmm. I didn't remember seeing him on the checklist. You know, they have a checklist on the back of, uh, on the back of the box. And so that's what I was, oh yeah, there it is on there. Okay. I wasn't sure if, because <laughs> that is the one thing I like about these jerseys is that, uh, of course you do have the checklist on the back of the box. So there is the full on jersey. And this one, as you see, doesn't uh, didn't come in a plastic bag uh, or anything. Sometimes they do. This one does not. So I will figure out uh, something to put it in when it ships off to you. And while we're on the topic, uh, I know a lot of people who 
do especially the brakes like this for the helmets and the jerseys um, don't care anything at all about getting uh, the random assortment of cards and I know that mainly because a whole bunch of you have told me that <laughs> so if you do want those please let me know and I will be happy to send them if you do not um, then you don't need to do anything and what I'm going to do with the ones that you guys don't want rather than shipping them out and having them get tossed in the trash is I'll send them off uh, every six or eight weeks we'll take them to Ronald McDonald House or The Nest or one of the other uh, local charities or hospitals for kids so next up we have one 2012 we're traveling back in time a little bit leaf autographed mini helmet and this of course is also uh, break number one first time we have broken this particular helmet and same format as before anything no bids buyback uh, was unsold anything that says unpaid means it was uh, a team was sold but had not yet uh, whoops had not yet been paid got a little carried away with my highlighting didn't I uh, had not yet been paid by the time uh, the break spreadsheet had to be finalized and if anybody jumped in late, uh, baseball is coming up. If you're here for Inception Baseball, we have these few football breaks that we're doing first. And then we will jump into Inception Baseball. And somebody's asking me, were the A's paid? Yeah, I think everything in, in Inception was paid with the, I think there were three teams that are, unpaid on the spreadsheet for inception baseball honestly i don't remember which three they are i'll have to look at them uh when we get there all right so jimmy if you want yours i mean um if you guys want the random assortment of cards do me a favor and send me a message on ebay so that i have a record of it i know that dpd i know you want yours larson's resort i know you want yours um anybody else just shoot me a message over if you want it and I don't know why I cannot get in this dang box. And of course, I am, I am more than happy to send them. Uh, but a lot of people are just telling me they don't want them at all. And they're just tossing them. So to me, it seemed kind of silly to send them out uh, when they're getting thrown away. If they could go to kids or somebody who wants them. So out of this, we have a Dallas Cowboys helmet. And that appears to be Bob Lilly, if I'm reading the signature on that right and what does this say back here yeah indeed it is bob lilly and i want to say the dallas cowboys were unpaid in this break i believe they were i think they had been sold but not paid so anyway there is a nice little bob lilly helmet out of 2012 leaf we were supposed to have of course um uh, a half case of 2017 leaf mini helmets breaking tonight they were due to have shipped out um, this week to have been here on Friday and apparently the release date got moved back and so they didn't show up so that break will be rescheduled I had to cancel it of course on eBay those of you who had been watching it so next up we have one single box of 2017 TriStar Hidden Treasures this is the very last uh, hidden treasures that I have and after that, we'll be uh, opening, of course, the new 2017 Leaf and whatever other fun little mini helmets we can find. I might go back and get us a few more from 2012. I did uh, see somebody had uh, made me an offer on a few more of those, so we might pick up another handful of them. And I do not know why do we have like such weird glare and stuff over here on this part of the... I'm going to try to angle this a little differently my i knocked honestly i knocked the camera over right before the break was due to start did that get rid of any glare not really um and for some reason it's now kind of looking i don't know weird over there and this whole half of the screen is looking kind of weird i don't know why i thought maybe if i adjusted it that would help it but yet it is not well, how about this? How about some back-to-back -back Bob Lilly? <laughs> this is uh, this series of helmets produced five years after the last series of helmets, but once again, we have pulled out a Dallas Cowboys Bob Lilly autographed helmet, and I'm going to adjust that back because that's like way too low now. I don't like that at all. So we're going to go back closer to where we were and just deal with the glare. Maybe I'll put something over there with less white on it. Maybe it'll be better. 
So, yeah, okay. So a helmet from 2012 comes out as Bob Lilly, and then a helmet out of 2017 also comes out as Bob Lilly. So, cowboys with back-to-back -back mini helmets. And here we roll on down to our next break, which, guess what? It's going to be another mini helmet, just a different series. So we'll be interested to see if... It turns out to be a cowboy again. Both of our first two breaks were cowboys, and I think they were both unpaid at the start of the break. So, I don't know. What's going on tonight? I think everybody's just busy because it's a holiday, right? So, I'm sure the payments come in in the interim. So, next up, we're going to have this 2017 Gold Rush mini helmet. And, of course, same format as before. And we have a few uh, unpaid in here and a few teams that didn't sell and... A whole bunch that did sell and were paid. So that is the situation here. And once again, for people that have just jumped in, uh, as soon as we finish the football breaks, we will roll right into the 2017 Inception Baseball. So Gold Rush, unlike the other mini helmets, it does have a little checklist on it. You see, uh, I think I put a picture of that up on the auction as well. And... I like that about them. This is kind of crazy. I thought for a minute this was going to be a cowboy too when I saw that gray. But you know what? This is Amari Cooper for the Raiders. So there's a nice a nice hit for the Raiders. Or I think that's Amari Cooper anyway. As far as I can tell. Does it say on the bottom? Nah, it doesn't. But I think that's I think that's Amari Cooper's signature. So there we go for the Gold Rush helmet headed to the Raiders. Our other two helmets, of course, went off to the Cowboys. And what does that bring us up to? I think that's going to bring us up to Prime Signatures. We get the spreadsheet up for that. And this is a half case of 2011 Prime Signatures. So, of course, that is... Uh, Five boxes make a half case of 2011 Prime. Sorry, I was just moving some of that out of the way there, if you heard that big noise. <laughs> and same format that we had in the other breaks. You'll see your name in lights over there as, our, as the winning bidder. And looks like most everything was paid in here. Just the one that was hanging out. And let's see what we can find in some... 2011 Prime signatures. I love 2011 Prime, as you guys know. It's one of my uh, it's one of my fun things to open on a regular basis, and we've pulled some pretty good stuff out of here over time. Hopefully, we're going to have good luck for you tonight as well. Ah, uh, Justin, you've got the Packers. That's right, man. We've got to try to find. Uh, we have got to try to find you some more Packers. You did well with your Packers the other night. Uh, and the 2013 breaks, you know, that Eddie Lacy, you had some nice stuff come out of there. So maybe we'll have some good luck for you tonight. I know that Randall Cobb is in this series for sure because uh, we've pulled him out before with On Card Auto in here. Oh, man. So he, there's other good Eagles you could pull besides just Carson Wentz. I mean, you know, there's Eagles, Eagles from the past, veteran Eagles, retired Eagles. There's other eagles you can find. Don't give up. <laughs> that is funny, though. Uh, on the Yankees, gosh, Donald, I don't even know. I didn't even look at the bid um, history. I literally just take the, the invoice or the notices that um, eBay sends after the auction ends. I take those and just cut and paste the user ID into this spreadsheet because it's always like such a race against the clock to get it done in time to start the break so i didn't even go back and look i don't know who uh i don't know who had who outbid you in the yankees all right so 2011 prime of course this is one pack per box there will be one autographed card in here and then the rest will be base cards i see already that we're going to have a redemption so uh we'll talk about that in a second all the base cards in 2011 Prime are numbered, so everything you see is going to have a number on it. Mostly they are higher numbers, and of course that was, we're going to set that aside for a minute, that was the norm um, in these older card series. The reason we're setting the redemption aside is because we got to talk about it for a second. 
It is going to be expired, of course, but when you get it, go ahead and redeem it into your Panini account. Ryan Kerrigan is our rookie auto numbered to 199 for the Redskins out of that box. It's a sticker auto. So when you get the redemption, put it in your Panini account. Um, you're going to have to probably let it sit there about six or eight weeks. And then uh, reach out to the folks at Panini and ask them if they still have the card. If they have it, they will send it to you. If they do not, they will work with you to find a replacement. Well, we didn't get you Randall Cobb, but we did get you a Packer, Jessen. Uh, we have Alex Green, numbered to 249, and that is an on-card auto. So he was uh, at the rookie premiere in 2011 because all the on-card autos out of this particular series were done uh, at the rookie premiere. So that's, uh, that's, that's why some of these are stickers in here and some of these are on card for the rookies anyway. Ah, oh, another redemption. Okay, good times. We're going to have two redemptions. <laughs> we're, we're, you know the reason we're leaving them both sitting over there right now because we're going to have to go down this checklist in a minute and we're going to have to see what the player name is and then from there we'll have to go on to the Panini website and verify some other stuff so that's why they're sitting over there waiting to the very end because we're gonna have to deal with them javid best for the lions numbered 249 now we have got two number 187 and number 230 so we're still gonna have to go to the panini website but we'll take a look on here first 187 is daquan bowers and 230 is what? 230 is Bilal, I don't know how to say his name, Bilal Powell, something like that. All right, so give me one minute, guys, and I have got to get over to the Panini website and go through their 5,000 mile long uh, drop down menu to get to the right product. And then it will tell us what we want to know. Prime signatures. All right, the first one, Rookie Signature Silver is the card set. Signature Silver. Oh, come on. Rookie Signature Silver RPS, card number 230. It's going to be numbered to 99. And it goes to the Jets. So that's our first one. Now we're dealing with this one, Rookie Signature Silver. Well, eventually, card number 187 is numbered to 199. And it's going to the Bucks. I, I do generally uh, go through and checklist verify all that kind of jazz just because it makes it uh, a little easier. Okay, so here's what we here's what we have. Our Tampa Bay Bucks redemption, our Jets redemption, then Javid Best for the Lions numbered to 49. Alex Green to 249 for the Packers. That is an on-card auto. And then Ryan Kerrigan to 199 for the Redskins. And that is the entirety. Well, that was the hit recap, obviously, but that's the that's the whole deal with the half case of 2011 Prime Signatures. And I've got a bunch more of that hanging around here. I don't remember if I have any more listed or not, but if I don't, I'll get them listed pretty soon. And Jessen, yes, absolutely. Don't ever throw those expired redemptions away because Panini will always figure out something for you. Sometimes it is, uh, I'm just getting our little case of inception here. Sometimes, uh, you know, it'll be the same player and it will just be a card from a different year or a different series or something like that. Sometimes they don't have that player at all and they'll give you like a whole other player, you know, and then they'll base it on value, the value of the card that was on your redemption. They'll find you another card of kind of equal value as their general philosophy. 
So last break for the night is one case, which is 16 boxes of 2017 Topps Inception Baseball. And this is the fifth time that we have broken a case of 2017 Inception. And we have two more cases left to go. And I think I have them both listed now. I actually intended to get some other things listed for Friday night as well and got really busy. Why is my mouse going crazy? And got really busy tonight with all these auctions ending and didn't get anything else listed other than I think Inception did go up. But on Wednesday, of course, for our baseball fans, we do have archives coming out. And that uh, I have eh, a decent number of cases of 2017 archives coming in, but I am breaking those in half cases because they are so base card heavy. Um, I mean, there's just a, there's a lot of cards in archives. And anytime we, I, because I ship everything, I ship base and hits and the whole deal. And because there are so many cards in it, uh, I usually break the base heavy sets into half case breaks. So we'll have quite a few of those coming up starting Wednesday night. And then the Inception that's listed right now is the last of last of all the Inception because I, I actually thought I had more cases of this than I guess I do because I did pull them all out today and count them and find that I only had what is what is listed. And I thought I had another, I thought I had 10, but I guess I don't because I only laid my hands on enough to get us up to seven beyond what's already been done, of course. Yeah, um, Inception is sold out like virtually everywhere, Kristen. That's why you're having, um, that's why you're having such a hard time finding it because it's just all the tops baseball this year has been crazy. It's hard to get. It sells out. I mean, there are some places, I think, that have gotten Inception back in. But, you know, they've raised the price almost practically double the last time I looked at it. It wasn't quite double, but it was getting up there. And it's just nearly impossible to find. I had ordered in a bunch of it ahead of time, of course. You know, you got to order it several months out. But I had, uh, I like Inception personally, so I had ordered quite a bit of it. And I did think I had 10 cases of it, but apparently I don't because seven is all I have located. <laughs> Unless there's more hanging around here somewhere that I just don't know where it is at the moment. I think we have this one and then two more, you know, the other two breaks that are already listed. Oh, you got... Uh, you got uh, some, t oh, you got a nice block auto. Okay, cool. On some other breaks. Excellent. Yeah, I haven't seen a Posey auto um, come out of here. I don't remember seeing a Posey auto come out of here anyway. I have seen, we have had some really nice Mike Trouts. In fact, we had two awesome Mike Trouts out of the very first case I opened. One jumbo patch and one regular patch, and one was numbered to 25 or 30, and the other one was numbered similarly. They're both both numbered 50 or less, uh, and auto patch, I mean, beautiful Mike Trouts. And we've had some nice Ben and Tendi come out. I mean, we've actually had, these have been pretty good, pretty good uh, cases as far as the hits we're pulling. Everything's been solid. Yeah, I've seen Aaron Judge come out uh, a number of times. Of course, Aaron Judge comes out as a as a redemption. I haven't had any Aaron Judge come out live, but I've had a handful of Aaron Judge redemptions come out. And of course, he just lights out, man. That guy is just setting the world on fire. So, of course, yeah, you're right though that he is one of the reasons the Yankees uh, are really heating up in terms of price for the breaks. It's it's crazy. Oh, you saw Willie Mays play at Candlestick. Nice. That is nice, man. 
All right, so here we are with our 16 packs. As you guys know, it's one pack per box. I say you guys know. I'm sounds like most, if not all of you, have already done some Inception breaks, so I'm going to assume that, uh, that we're all on the same page with this. There are some base parallels, of course. The green ones are unnumbered. All of the other colors are numbered. So there's Duffy to 150. And our first autograph hit is headed to the White Sox, and that is Ronaldo Lopez, numbered to 249. And, of course, everything in here uh, also is on-card autos. I'm sure you guys know that, too. Well, I say that. That's actually not true because the patch cards have had sticker autos on them. So the patch cards may, you know, will most likely have a sticker auto. The other cards have uh, on-card autos. Oh, two green parallels in there, so this must be our big patch. And it is. It is our jumbo patch of Alex Reyes for the Cardinals. And it is numbered to 75. And you did get a nice, uh, you did get a nice little pinstripe in there. So you got, you at least got two colors in your Reyes jumbo and numbered to 75. So that's a nice hit for the Cardinals to pull that out. In terms of shipping, um, I'm expecting this stuff to go out probably in the Wednesday-Thursday range. Kyle Seeger for the Mariners, numbered to 50. And our auto is Seth Lugo, headed to the Mets, and it is numbered to 299. Because, of course, there's no uh, mail tomorrow because of the holiday. So that's kind of pushed everything back a day further than it would normally go out. So I would say more than likely, this is Thursday. It's possible some will get out on Wednesday, and it's possible a few might not make it until Friday, but I'd say the majority will go out on Thursday. Sano for the Twins to 50. And our signature is, I never say his name right. We're just going to call him Lucas because I don't ever get his name right. For the White Sox to 99. Oh, I don't have any. Uh, I don't have any Aaron Judge, man. The Yankees always, always sell, Dave. I just saw your um, your message in chat that you're looking for some base cards of Aaron Judge. The Yankees always sell, so I don't have any, and I don't buy the Yankees in other breaks. I don't buy into a lot of baseball breaks myself. Uh, 99 on the Mike Trout. And that's because I just, I don't know. I, I usually, if I do buy into other people's breaks, for whatever reason, it's usually basketball and football. I don't buy into a lot of baseball. Hunter Renfro for the Padres to 99. I do bid on the Reds occasionally just because they're the the hometown team, but they're, you know, not exceptional right now, so I don't, I don't spend a, a lot on buying them in breaks. If, when they get a little better in a few years, I'll probably spend a little more on them. A.J. Reed, uh, Astros to 75. And our signature, oh, that's nice for the socks with the Moncada to 50. That's actually real nice, and that's uh, the first one I've seen come out for him. So nice hit for the Sox, and nice low number parallel, too. All right, so let's see who we've got in here. I know something just rolled through in chat over there, but you guys are going to have to bear with me. This is the 75, because um, I'm going to have to move the iPad over closer to be able to see it. For the Phillies, we have Alfaro to 75. And let me see what you asked me in chat, Dave. Oh, um, well, hopefully the people that were unpaid tonight, I mean, I hope that they have since paid for their spots. Um in which case they'll they'll get their their stuff. Uh, if they haven't paid for their spots, then it would just it would stay here with me. And at some point, I would either 
you know, sell it or donate it or give it away. If it were a memorabilia type item, the cards, you know, I just, I give those away generally. Sanchez to 150 for the Yankees. And we have a patch coming out for the Rockies with David Dahl. Numbered to 199 and that one is a sticker auto. And this is a really, um, this is a really thick pack. So this is going to have another patch card in it almost for sure because it feels, uh, feels like it's going to. Eric Hosmer to 25 for the Royals. And another hit for the White Sox. They're having quite the break. Tim Anderson. Oh, and that's a nice patch. Uh, numbered to 50. And nice little two-color action going on there. And it's the last in the series. You know, uh, I love either first in the series or last in the series. There's absolutely no logical reason why, other than I just do. <laughs> um... Jeff, I don't know what you mean. Have I drawn your pack? I'm not sure. Um, I'm not sure what you're asking me about that. We're breaking right now uh, the case of 2016 Inception Baseball. If you were talking about um, one of the football breaks, then yes, we have already finished the football breaks. But I'm not sure which you're asking about. There is a Yankee, but it's not the Yankee you're after. There's Tyler Austin to 299. And of course, I know you're after Aaron Judge, but still, it's always good to have a hit, right? Yeah, Kristen, the White Sox are cleaning it up. I don't know what the deal is. Uh, the White Sox are going to town here. But I will tell you, I just saw a redemption on the back end of this. So there could be an Aaron Judge in there somewhere. And why am I stacking my base on our parallels? I need to set those over there. For the Brewers to 99. Cespedes to 75 for the Mets. Oh, and it's Sano. Okay. I thought there, you know, so far the, the redemptions I've seen had been for Aaron Judge. But there's a redemption for Sano. Uh, patch card redemption. That's one thing that I wish they would do on the Tops website. Like when you go to the Panini website, it will tell you what your card's going to be numbered to. I wish Tops would do that, but they don't. This is to 150 Diaz for the Cardinals. And the Cubbies have got a hit with Contreras. And that is to 199 And you did get a little, uh, a little second color in there, a little pinstripe. So Cubbies are... Cubbies are on the board. Tanaka to 150. And Chad Pender for, uh, to 75 for the A's. I think the A's have gotten a hit in every single case that I have broken. I don't think there's been any cases where the A's didn't get at least one hit. Whoops, hang on. We had somebody hiding in behind there. Rangers to 150. Alfaro for the Phillies to 199. And didn't we just pull him for the Phillies or did we pull him for, yeah, I think we did. I mean, I'm like 99% sure that we did. We'll see it in a minute in the history cap, but I believe, I believe that's the second hit. Same guy uh, for the Phillies, numbered differently, but but otherwise the same. And we're getting ready to come up on our case hit here in a minute. There's Syndergaard to 150, and our case hit is Corey Seager for the Dodgers. That's nice. Oh, and it's numbered to 20. That's also super nice. Uh, the other silver inceptions I've pulled have been numbered to 99. So, Dodgers, you have a nice hit uh, on your case hit, numbered to 20. I do see that you've got some little, um, uh, a little touch of wear on all four of your corners. I don't know how well you can see that uh, in the camera, but you've got little uh, dots of white on your four corners and 
Of course, that unfortunately is somewhat common on the thicker cards, but that's still a really nice hit for the Dodgers uh, on the Seager to 20. Oh, good, man. So you got, uh, good. I sent you a pack of cards and you got a Dion Jordan autograph to 50 and a numbered insert with Jeter. All right. Way to go, man. Congratulations. Sometimes I, uh, sometimes I include little extras with your guys' packages here and there. And, uh, apparently sometimes hits come out of them. For the Yankees to 99. And our hit is Alex Bregman. Nice hit for the Astros to 199. All right, so here's what we need to do at this point. We're going to do our hits recap. But give me one second here. I've got one thing I ah I've got one thing I need to do if I can get my iPad to calm down here for a minute. We're just going to go into. Um, we're just going to go into the, uh, sorry, I'm, it keeps giving me all these pop-up messages and I, it's just really killing me. I don't know why. Um, I'm just going into the checklist just because I do uh, checklist verify all this stuff. And that is Inception Autographed Pack. Of course, I don't think he's ever played for anybody but Minnesota, but still. Still, we like to do it. And it's, I'm getting there. I'm scrolling through all this stuff. Just bear with me, guys. I know it's a drag. Inception patch. Yeah, that's right. Inception autograph patch cards. Correct. All right. And yes, he is on there as a Minnesota twin, as, as we pretty much knew, but... As I said, I just like to, I like to verify all this stuff. Okay, so to review our hits, we have Sano for the Twins, uh, Redemption on the Autograph Patch Card. The Contreras to 199 for the Cubs, and that's a sticker auto, of course. Numbered to 50, Tim Anderson for the White Sox. Also a sticker auto, but that's a nice patch. David Dahl to 199 for the Rockies. Also sticker auto. All, this, all the patch cards are sticker autos. Everything else is on card. Alex Reyes to 75 for the Cardinals. Nice hit and nice patch. Alex Bregman to 199 for the Astros. Nice hit for the Astros. And then a really nice Corey Seager here on the case hit, the Silver Inception signing numbered to 20 for the Dodgers. Alfaro to 199 for the Phillies. Pender to 75 for the A's. Austin for the Yankees to 299. Alfaro again for the Phillies to 75. Moncada, nice hit. Uh, to 50 for the White Sox. Hunter Renfro to 99 for the Padres. Lucas, yeah, I don't know. It's either Golito or Giolito. I never say it right. To 99 also for the White Sox. Lugo to 299 for the Mets. And Lopez to 249 for the White Sox. So pretty much the White Sox just kind of set the world on fire there. And that is it for this case of 17 Inception. And, of course, we still need to do our nightly random. So let me just set, uh, just set this stuff aside over here. And then we have two possibilities, of course. We could have somebody come out that's only in baseball. So we'll get a little baseball stack. Or we could have somebody come out who has football, in which case we would need the football stack. So that is, which one do I have in my hand? That's the football stack. Where did I put the baseball stack? Ah, I thought I had the baseball stack sitting out too, but yet I don't, it's not coming up here, so I stacked it somewhere else when I was cleaning up the table. Doesn't that just figure? Oh, where did you go, football stack? 
I mean baseball stack, football stacks on the table. There it is. And starting in June, we're going to do some different stuff with our nightly random. Uh, it's not going to be quite like this. We're going to kind of do a combination of some promos that I did earlier in the year and some nightly promos like I do now. So we'll have a little, a little, uh, a new little promotion when we start in June. And this is kind of, it's not kind of, it's exactly uh, the list of bidders for all of the breaks tonight. And it's just combined on this second page of the spreadsheet. We're just going to copy and paste it over into random.org and random will tell us first who our winner is going to be. And then they will, and then it will tell us after that, um, what you're going to win out of the stack. We'll just scroll up through there again to show everybody that it's in there. And TS Enterprise 22 is our winner tonight, and I'm pretty sure that's football. Um, I'm like 99% sure that that's football, but let me just scroll back up here and check really quickly. Yeah, that is going to be out of football. Okay. So, well, I've got to get myself back on the correct page. <laughs> so TS Enterprise 22, if you had... Um, if you had a hit come out tonight, it will ship your uh, nightly random bonus will ship with whatever your hits are. If you didn't have a hit come out, it will either ship the next time you get a package or within seven days if you haven't got a package coming, you know, by the time we get to seven days. So this is number five out of our stack. So it is the very bottom of our stack, which is... Marshawn Coprich Sage uh, Autograph is the series. So that is your hit for tonight, TS Enterprise, uh, just as the nightly random. So again, that'll either come with your regular cards, or if you don't have a package coming, it'll show up sometime in the next seven days. So, oh, Donald, I am sorry that you did not get your Aaron Judge tonight, man. I, I'm sorry about that. Maybe we'll find it in the next case for you, hopefully. And Dave, thank you, and have a good night. And thanks to everybody. I always appreciate everybody that hangs out with me in chat and bids with me and breaks with me, and appreciate all of you. We'll get this to you as soon as I can. Thanks so much, guys. Have a great night.